They were the first group I'd seen that were really talking about the idea of what a semantic computing system, so a computing system that has meaning baked into it rather than just being about raw data, um, about what that really means. And they had this very exciting vision for something called p cubes, which stood for protocol for pluggable protocols. And it was a way that you could basically express the differences in understanding and language between different little, they called them zones, I think it's the same terminology in Holochain, but little kind of cell receptor-y things in networks. Um, and yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a way that you might be able to drastically speed up the process of coming to agreement with other people about the meaning of things. And at the moment, that work is is the protocol work that's, you know, it's, it's kind of slow work. I mean, it's, it's one of the things I t focus on these days. Um, and it takes a lot of time and energy and talking to people to figure out what is the best common protocol for describing, say, the flow of resources in networks. Um, and, and that's what most of the product building energy and software goes into is creating those APIs and bindings between them so that data can start to flow. Uh, and Scepter is a way that data might just be able to flow natively and it might be very easy to connect things um, and that still excites me today and working in Holochain excites me because actually it's the only working environment that makes it clear what Scepter is for and why you would need it um, and you know Art and Eric talk about this a lot having built Scepter once before and no one knew what it was or why you would need it.